I'm gonna take a shot on this one. I'm gonna say beer. I'm buying everybody around on this! Oh my god! Uh, welcome to the All Things Rangers Bar Talk, where we are gauging our confidence based on our choice of drink on all these NHL topics. Here's a topic that we're kind of chomping at the bit on this one, especially with people trying to talk about this. But Montreal is proving that the NHL needs to expand the playoffs. Anthony, I want to hear your take before John and I go off. So, you know what? I, I, I've been a proponent of at least seeing why the league would want to expand because um, I mean it was maybe even a year ago John and I discussed this we had a good conversation about it and you know he made some good points and I feel I had mine too I always said like for instance if the eighth seed had I'm going to make up arbitrary number 87 points um, and the ninth seed had 86 points but that eighth seed you know lost more times in a shootout you know had more that type of getting more points from losing in overtime where the ninth place team actually just had more wins but it way worked out they had more points it's like you could see the argument of why that team at least doesn't have a chance to to play in the playoffs um but me also being somewhat of a traditionalist i also understand of, of just keeping it normal but um the, the montreal right now what they're doing i think is going to like Pierre Lebrun was an advocate for it, and he said in his article last week that Bettman still doesn't want it. But if Bettman sees a, a team in the Montreal Canadiens going to the Stanley Cup Finals, who actually had less points than two teams in the Death Stars and the Rangers who missed the playoffs, I mean, what it it kind of gives it kind of gives more of a case to those people who want that playing tournament to expand when they look at the Canadians right now, because the Canadians, you know, if they went by if the NHL went by straight points. They had less points than, like I said, two other teams. So, should they even be there? So, it does. It, it there is a conversation for it, and I don't know, you know, who's if Bettman's the ultimate decider or the board of governors will have to vote on it. But, um, you know, LeBron said he thinks it's inevitable in the next couple of years. So, I won't lose sleep about it if, if they do, and I also won't if they won't. I'm kind of one of those that are like on the fence about it, but um, it's a tough call. I, I see. I honestly see both sides. So. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes, the conversation in the future. Philk? The one thing that this is reaffirming for me is that the NHL needs to get rid of loser points. You need to get rid of loser points. It, 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 has, to, it has to come. It, 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 it's too much. You're, you're, giving, you're, giving the, you're giving a point for somebody just to get into overtime. And they're... There are times, uh, even the, the the 2020 Islanders got really got in there because of loser points. And you know what? They ended up having a real good run to the conference finals. But if they don't get those loser points from losing in shootouts and getting to overtime, they're not in the playoff format. They're not even a playing team at that point. Um, I want to go to a three-point system. I, I want to no, go for three I would, I would much rather do that, too. Yeah, three, three points for regulation. Two points for an overtime win, one point for a shootout win, and zero points for any type of loss. Like, it, it, enough with giving loser points. Get away from it. Start giving more points to teams. And, and start giving them incentives to actually play to win instead of playing just to get to overtime and lose and get a point. Make it competitive. You, you, want, you want to see teams score? Give them an incentive to go for it. So, I, I, I'm shot. This is... This is, if anything, you open, I get why he would do it. Money, more views, more TV time, new TV contract. It makes sense. I get it. But as a, as a traditionalist, and I'm not even a big traditionalist, but no, Just please, no. Uh, well, first, by the way, MG, we're going to answer that, uh, qu the comment that you have, the question that you have down below soon. Or we'll do it after the segment um, or at the end of this one. Um, but getting to this one, uh, no, absolutely not. And you know what? I might be a dinosaur, but uh, if not for electro 11 extra loser points, that was, yeah, they would have missed the playoffs. But I might be a dinosaur because I actually want you little things like baseball to play a full nine inning game instead of these idiotic seven inning double headers. But, or maybe I think 
sort of like if you're grading the NCAA tournament and you have to worry about the 69th best team in the country, then just, just shut up. Just absolutely just shut up. And the other thing is, if somebody comes up with an idea, and let's run this idea, instead of um, playing the regu- uh, p- playing the, the the format that we have right now, we uh, have all 32 teams. They play a round robin against each other. And then, at that time, we start bracketing off the top 16 teams. And then, you just described the current format! No! No, this is such a shot! Stop with these so, tournaments! It's ridiculous in the NBA. It's it's baseball is a different story. One and done. There you go. The, stop! Stop! This is ridiculous. We need we need to worry about the, whether or not the the 18th best team in the league can get in. We so like, we, I just, just I for someone that's on the fence about it, like one way or the other, I, I'm not really for or against it. So I just have a question for you guys. So what do you say to the people who advocate for it and point to, well, look, Montreal, yeah, they had less points than some non-playoff teams, but then they say, aren't they proving the point that once you get in, anything can happen? So what do you what do you say to that? Like, like for instance, last year, the Blackhawks shouldn't have been in the playoffs, but they beat the Oilers and went in. So what, what, do, you, what do you say to the point of, is there something to be said for, you know, once you get in, anything can happen, so why not give a team like that a chance because they're proving that they can beat actual teams who are in playoff spots. Okay, I'll feel that one. Just because one team might match up better against another team doesn't mean that we need to let in every single team. Why don't we let in the worst team in the league? Why don't we let in... No, why don't we go all the way down to uh, Buffalo? Buffalo could have beaten someone. Maybe. I don't know (laughs) who that would be. But, I mean, what happens then if... If you're doing that, you're just taking on then, – then there's no point of playing the regular season whatsoever. Just play the playoffs. Yeah, it, it, diminishes, do. it diminishes the results in the regular season. I, I, I agree with that. I mean, it, it completely diminishes the results of the regular season. It's it's just – it's it's awful. And, and, and you know what? That's why playoff brackets matter. That's why your playoff matchups matter. Because, again – it's it's sort of like take for instance the Rangers. The Rangers missed the playoffs by uh, I forgot what the final total was six or seven seventeen points because they didn't show up in the last week because David Quinn couldn't get his team up. But um, or, sorry, the last three weeks they showed up in the last week to to beat Boston. But um, and yes, no, you're welcome. But it's just. I don't understand this this thinking, and I don't want to just say it's because I'm I'm old, I'm old school, and everything, and I believe in you know people should earn things, but it, it's it's so it's so like um, participation trophy stuff. Get yeah. the hell out of here! If the Rangers wanted to make the playoffs this year, you had to be better than Boston and better be better, better than the Islanders and better than Washington, and they weren't. That's what it comes down to. It's not that they need to expand the playoffs to make sure the Rangers get in. Because next year, we're in that same format. We're back to the wild card, I believe. And so You know what? But, also, I know we want to move on here, but you also look at it from the leagues. There's a financial aspect in this, too. If they do it, you're talking... You know, what would that be? Seven versus ten, eight. So you're talking four, what, four teams that get more, you know, revenue from playing a, a playoff game. And it's all about dollar signs. And I'm sure that's that's a contributing driver in the league's decision, okay. too, possibly. Oh, okay. So he, you want to talk dollar signs? Do you? What do you think is more profitable for the NHL? A playing round? So where maybe that underdog wins and then they get smacked in the next series? Or, you know, Tampa Bay get smacking around Montreal in the Stanley Cup Finals, or Tampa Bay playing the Islanders in the Stanley Cup Finals, and it being an absolute seven-game thrill. What's more profitable? What gets you more views? The latter gets you more views, not the former. The former ain't getting you shit. I can tell you that right now. Nobody, you, th- th- if this becomes a short series, one, you're going to see a lot of fans turn away because they know what's going to happen. So there's no incentive to watch, and two, you're going to get less games. So yeah. just just to, just to add in a participation trophy round for a bunch of teams that really don't deserve to be in, and diminish your regular season and take away from the tradition of the pro- to to get 
a couple of extra dollars that you would get back anyway with better product in the playoffs? Doesn't make sense to me. Where's the end game? That's I, a good point. I, I just I, I don't see it. And for the comment about the not liking the three point system, uh, I mean, this is what you get when you don't have the three point system. You get a team that gets in on loser points. They get hot and then they get smacked around by a better team because they're not playing a couple of paper tigers. Yeah, it could help with revenue, Goldberg. But it, April, yeah, I think so. It, it, it will, but I mean, <laughs> yes, the first three quarters of NBA games. Yeah, it, it, it's it's pointless. Who, who watches the first three quarters of the NBA <laughs> game outside of basketball fans? Yeah, yeah. no one. The casual. Because yeah, whoever scores the first basket of a basketball game, nobody's going to remember. Yeah, exactly. Nobody remembers who scored the first basket. Nobody scores. Nobody remembers who scored the first basket of the first three quarters. Yeah, but they remember who scored the last few baskets in the in the, the the final minutes of the fourth quarter. So it, it just it doesn't make any sense to me. It really doesn't. And like you said, it diminishes the value of the regular season. And you know what? Another thing this is proving. This is proving that the NHL needs to go back to one format. You need to go back to one through eight seeds. Yeah, I, that I that I that I absolutely agree with. Um, yeah, I, no, I, absolutely. And Definitely I not the right, one through know, sixteen I, format, but yeah. I, get, I get last year having to do the expanded playoffs because not you know not all the teams played the same amount of games. You know, for instance, the, the, right. the, Blue, the Blue Jackets were the eighth seed, the Islanders were the ninth, but by virtue of points percentage, the Islanders were really eighth. So I I understand reasons like that. They had to level it out in some way to have a playing round. But I guess the more I think about it. The more I say, leave it, you know, leave it as it is, because it, it just becomes. Because then, it, it, at that point, I guess if they do it, at what point do you just cut it off and say no? You know, at what point does the eleventh place team say, okay, well, I was one point behind the tenth place team. You know, why don't why don't I get a chance to have a play? So, yeah, I guess it starts to become real dicey. It's it, it, it's also I can't help but say, do we really need more games this year from Calgary, from Dallas? From the Rangers, Dallas had a shot at making the playoffs. All they had to do was win their games. Yeah, and they no showed in the last week as well. Here, 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 you want to talk about financials too? Who the hell was watching those regular season games of Calgary and Vancouver while the playoffs were going on? I don't know if anybody was watching. Nobody. Them. They were being played in the afternoon when no one's really home to watch them, except for you know the people who work night shifts, aka Mark. Um, but you know, you know what? It just. You're not getting any viewership there. I, I don't know who wants to watch subpar hockey when you're getting geared for the playoffs. It doesn't make sense. It's it, it doesn't make any sense, and that's part of the problem. And, you know, again, I'm sorry. You have to earn things in the world in order to get in there. And, by the way, just to say one more thing, they can add as many more rounds in the playoffs as they can. The Toronto Maple Leafs still won't win one. So... Uh. But, Teams do they add? Where, when, like Anthony said, where's the cutoff? How many teams do you add? Uh, you know, yeah. Do the, do the. Wait, wait. The, See, half the playoffs is going to make the, the the half the half the league is going to make the playoffs next year. How many more teams are you going to add and turn this into a participation trophy? See, with, with with that comment right there, that actually used to happen when there was the southeast division and every team sucked and they essentially like the thrashers would get third would get third place just because they were division leaders so they had to be you know that third spot whereas the fourth and fifth place team had more points than them i mean to me that that doesn't really bother me too much so i'll still gladly take the one eight format um yeah that, that that doesn't really bother me he has a point that used to happen all the time the winner of that southeast division would get a top three spot but I mean, so be it. I mean, it didn't, I don't, my opinion, it didn't really grind my gears that much. The one thing I'm going to say about this one, and no. um, the only reason why I'm against that is because travel does play a thing. And I'll point out the 1994 New York Rangers. Uh, they were the oldest team in the league, um, and they had to travel through, um, they had to go to the Islanders, they had to go to Washington, they had to go to the Devils. They didn't get on a plane until Game 3 of the Stanley Cup Finals. Travel does matter, and that's why you don't want to be the President's Trophy team and then have to fly all the way to Los Angeles. Or yeah. worse, the long, if, let's say Florida wins the number one overall seed and Seattle somehow gets the 16th. You don't want to go Florida to Seattle, back to Florida. Yeah, that's, Seattle, yeah. 
that, that's travel costs on the NHL, and they lose out money that way. So the extra money that they're getting from these extra games, or and then having it in a one sixteen, you're losing that money because you got to put it towards travel expenses. Yeah. So and- Goldberg's right. There's always going to be a left out. There's always going to be a conversation. Go back to the one to six. Go back to the one to eight. And you know what? Give the two division winners one and two, and let them let the other teams sort themselves out. Don't don't give out any more than two seeds, and then let the other teams sort themselves out three through eight. That's it. And um, the old one through eight format was just the two divisions. Uh, that was back in nine, the early nineties when it went to three divisions. That was where the okay, Southeast yeah, Division yeah. ended up being the three seed. Yeah. But even yeah. at that, even at that, uh, we had the a few years ago, where uh, 2017, the last time the Rangers made the playoffs, that basically it was: Do you want to be the third seed, and um, and play? I forgot who they were supposed to play. I think it was Pittsburgh or something like that. Or do you, oh, or um, and or do you want to be the fourth seed in the wild card, the first wild card, and go play Montreal? Yeah, and Rangers went on to play Montreal. Yeah, that's why. That's why I hate the wild card, though, because you, you're you're essentially you can almost choose your matchup. Don't don't do that. Win, win and get a higher seed. Yeah, I, I'm I'm again the oldest one in the room. So, um, but why does the winner have to? Uh, Because there's travel expenses involved, MG. That's why. Yeah, that's yeah. that. That is true. The travel expenses do play a role in this. So, actually, I, sh- I should have read that off. But, why does, but does it really yeah. make sense to have teams going back and forth across the nation, and then having to further schedule out the games because of travel expenses? You can finish up series quicker and get to the off season quicker. Give the players more in off season, which they they want. You have any player in the league, they're going to tell you they want a little bit of a longer off season because this one is going to be a short one. Yeah, and then tack on that they might have to move things ahead for the Olympic break. Mm-hmm. All right, we actually still have so much more that we're chopping on the bit on that about this, but we have to move on. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.